Hey guys, today we're setting up the deep water culture system. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're in the greenhouse today um, to set up the first of the tree system. I mean, um, this is a new system, so I'm gonna document it super well in this video. You've seen the NFT uh, system in place, you know, um, in the description I have the, uh, the link to the video for that. Uh, as I told you from last year's um, uh, end of season video, I decided to move it from over there to over here. Uh, so that I can grow my pepper in this system over here. Now, the reason I did that is that I don't have an ideal orientation for my greenhouse, and um, there's a lot more light on that side than there is here, okay? And as you know, if you've been following me for a little bit, you know, I'm struggling with my lettuce in this system because they get too warm, so I can get lettuce, you know, early, early in the season and late. You know, nothing in between because it's too warm. So I'm trying to remedy that. So we'll, you know, experiments, right? So we're doing this with that. So that's, that's for that. My deep water culture system is a system that you haven't seen before, but that I've been using off and on. You know, it's been a mainstay of mine. And, uh, you know, it's using the same type of buckets that you've seen me use before. You know, it's a half inch... Um, uh, bulkhead adapter, right? Painted black so that it doesn't um, promote algae growth. All right. All right, guys. So let me kind of walk you through how the system works. All right. So what I have is I have eight of these buckets. All right. Three and a half inch hole so that it can take a, a net pot, you know, to. Uh, to hold the plant. I like the thicker lip version because the peppers or whatever you put in them uh, have some weight on them. And if you have one that is really tight to the side, it falls. And that's what happened to me uh, more than once, you know, uh, with this system. Well, not any of those systems, right? So that's why I always go for the, you know, wider lip pots. All right two quarter inch all at the back. One that's gonna receive nutrient solution, and I'm gonna explain that in a second. And the second one is gonna be an air bubbler, okay? So, you know, your aquarium, you know, they're right over my shoulder. You'll, you'll see when I assemble it. Um, so basically to provide oxygen and air to the plants, right? So the air and the nutrient solution have to be provided by something, okay? And that's the role of these two buckets here the two other here so this one is the same kind of bucket okay but no holes just a little hole in the back that's going to allow me to get an irrigation tube out that's going to run along the back of all of them and provide a drip not a drip a flow of nutrient to all of them. now the reason i do that is because i want to be able to um, have the nutrient solution renewed okay and if i want to replace it i can easily uh, put more in um, uh, in this bucket so this bucket's not going to have anything in it it's not going to grow all right it's just there as a reservoir all right i'm going to have a small pump in it that's going to just make all of that kind of go all right and when i say all go is because all of these are going to be connected together coming back here so if you think about it, I'm going to inject a little stream of uh, nutrient solution in the top. It's just going to flow down, you know, and, and just recirculate, all right? That's, that's the goal here. The other one is to get air into the plant. So each one will have an air uh, bubbler, okay? Uh, and uh, that's going to be provided by this bucket. So this bucket is a, a little bit of a Frankenstein kind of invention here. If you look in it, all right, I have a big air pump, you know, for aquarium, all right. I also have this divider, but it's suspended on this uh, bungee line. And the reason I do that is so that it absorbs the noise. Because otherwise, this thing vibrates pretty hard, you know, because it's a big pump. And if it's not there, then there's always that, 
nagging, you know, um, vibrating noise. So this way, you know, it's all contained. And the reason I put it in the bucket, and the bucket has air, you know, um, uh, holes, you know, on the side so that it can be, um, so that the air can go in, right? But what I wanted, I wanted to do with this is protect the pump so that it doesn't get wet. I mean, we're still in a greenhouse here and it's, you know, it happens more often than not that uh, for some reason, you know, when we water something or, you know, we come in to clean something that it gets sprayed all around, you know, and I don't want that to get sprayed on. All right, so all there is to do after all the stock here is to assemble it and show you how it works. All right, let's do that. All right, so the first thing I want to do is hook up hook up all of the uh, buckets together using my three-quarter PVC pipes, all right? I've uh, already cut the uh, tubing because, um, because I, I wanted to have everything ready, you know, for the video, but uh, they're about 11 and a half inch um, and, you know, it's not important. What's important is the, the it's what the, the the space you have. Cut those so that they fit correctly in between your buckets, right? There's no no magic there. There's no formula. There's no nothing. All right. It's just it's up to you to figure out what's the best you know spacing for your plant based on the room you have, and 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 that's essentially the only driving factor here. And then you just assemble them. And that's what I, why I like to not. Um, uh, that's why I like not cementing all my piping because it seems like every year I'm changing my mind on my system. So when they're cemented, then that's it. You know, you have to buy a new set. When they're not, well, all you have to do is, you know, separate them and you keep going, right? All right. All right, to provide the nutrient solution, I'm gonna use a small Arbor Freight pump with the appropriate adapter, you know, they come, they come with those things. To put a half inch, uh, you know, irrigation pipe on it. All right. Cool. This will go in this bucket. Okay, and there's a little slot here to get the electrical wire out. All right, it's gonna come out of that hole right here. I should probably make that cut better. Okay, and it's gonna take this uh, half inch you know, irrigation elbow. Yeah, this time of year it's a little cold, so let me get the blowtorch to eat it up a little bit. All right, and at the other end, we're gonna use one of those uh, figure eight terminator clip, all right? All right, simply slides in, you bend the pipe and put it back. All right, that's how you terminate a line, uh, an irrigation line. 
All right, so I'm making these little um, irrigation quarter inch, you know, that are going to go right in one of those holes there and it's going to, you know, splice into this. So, again, given, <clears throat> given how cold it is, you know, all I'm doing here, I'm just warming up the end a little bit, becomes a little bit softer and they go in really easily that way. All right. So that's how this is done. Right? All right. So the way we set them up, we put them in the hole, right? And again, this is just so that they provide um, a little flow of um, nutrient continually, right? So put it in there. You know, and now I know it goes right there. So with my little punch tool, come in, punch, and that snaps into place. All right. And we go down the line. Alright, so for air, okay, we have the pump I showed you. I'm going to use silicone um, tubing made for aquarium, alright. The difference between the quarter inch um, irrigation one, you see how hard it is, you know, it's really rigid. The silicone one is really squishy and, and malleable, alright. So this is for the air and that's the hard one for the uh, irrigation so now what i have to do is attach my air stone right so it's just a little air stone that's going to go at the tip of it all right so now i have to take this tube from each bucket and bring it back to my air bucket all right let's do that now So there's a hole at the bottom there that I just take this thing from, the, the tube in, and then I thread it, or actually slip it, right over my manifold. And this little manifold is pretty nifty because, you know, you can adjust the airflow for each one of the, of the airline, all right? Which is going to be important because the ones at the end, like this one here, uh, has a long way to go, you know, and if I want to have the same amount of air in the first bucket as in this one, as in this one, I have to be able to equalize the pressure somehow, all right, and that's what that does. All right, so the last four buckets have to share a line. All right, so I'm gonna use this T-fitting again for, um, for irrigation, right? And I'm just gonna splice, you know, the, the, the line here, the tubing. So all it is really just fitting the T-fitting right between the line. All right, just like that, and put a little length of tube in the bucket with the air star. There it is. All right, the reason I'm doing it on the last four is because they're the closest to the air pump, and I need to maintain air pressure, like I said before. So that way, with having the two 
well the four closest to the bucket you know share the same line you know uh, the same air this means that I'm gonna have enough air to go all the way down the line all right that's why I'm doing it this way all right. and last bucket all right the system is built all right so I'm gonna take you in closer so that you can see the anatomy of each one of them so let's go all the way down the line here all right so like I said before right we have that uh, squishy little tube there which goes into this air stone all right and I have the um, irrigation line all right providing the circulation of nutrients right so it's going to come down this tube all the way down okay and will exit through this tube here right and that's how they're all set up all right all the way down the line now let me show you the two buckets that we have here so this is the irrigation or so nutrient solution bucket right so with that T all right that goes to a pump and that's going to be on a timer basically to just recirculate uh, the nutrient solution once in a while so the cool thing is that I can refill this bucket with nutrient solution a little bit more concentrated than I would normally do right and it's going to just distribute it all the way down the line you know to to get uh, the, the bucket replenished or you know whatever right so over here that's the air bucket right so this is the pump I have all right and my six man, my, my six outlet manifold here that's why I had to splice the last two all right guys so I'm not going to fill them just yet with nutrient solution and and get it going uh, as you probably saw in my short you know uh, the seedlings are coming so I'm probably I want to say two weeks out from putting something in here two weeks maybe three okay uh, again it's the uh, beginning of March here and um, you know I, I, I hope to be able to put that third week or March maybe first week of April at the worst all right to start using the systems this is a system that needed to be rebuilt all right because um, I haven't used it last year okay so this this I hope you found good ideas in what I, I put there and again you know it's if you recall you know every time I use those buckets I tell you that you know by putting that uh, uh, bulkhead, bulkhead fitting at the bottom there makes the, makes these very um, uh, flexible and and you know these are the buckets I used last year for my Kratky I'm reusing them in this deep water they used to be in a deep water system <laughs> so anyway very flexible system you know and you can you know that's the name of the game when you're experiment experimenting right so done deal with this one next one is going to be my um, Dutch bucket here okay this one is going to be the same system I'm just going to re remove like I believe two three two yeah I had how many do I have last year seven right so I'm gonna have five this year four tomatoes and we're gonna put the basil there um, what I want to do with this system is just uh, getting you know if you recall if you look at my last year video I believe that that one and a half inch for for the tomato is too small because the roots find their way inside you know the um, uh, inside the outlet of, of the nutrient here so I'm going to increase that to an inch this year I have everything so I'll take you to the build that's probably going to be next week's video and um, you already know about this one so I mean guys this is this is the beginning of the season here and um, I hope you'll follow along we have some good stuff to look at all right take care guys if you like what you saw give me a like and we'll see you next week all right thank you bye